how do these songs just keep getting better? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Molly and in this video I am going to be reacting to the album Sunbather. This is the second studio album from the metal band Death Heaven. Now Death Heaven is a band that I am not at all familiar with. I have never heard any of their music. I've only very recently even heard about them and I was very intrigued by the way people were describing the sound of their music and I was looking up their studio albums and their second album Sunbather has a 92 score on Metacritic which which is very high. I rarely see Metacritic score any album over about 90. So I was intrigued to say the least and I figured I would do a little reaction video and just see what I think of this album. All right, so starting with track one, we have Dream House. Nice, very clean sounding guitar. We could just have some crazy manic energy going on now with the vocals. It just sounds like a release, like especially with the vocals, it's just like all of this energy being let out. The vocals are definitely being used here to complement the instrumentals. It's not like the instrumentals in the background and then it's all about the vocals. It's definitely an even match between the two. There's a really great all-encompassing sound that this track has. There's just this really grandiose atmospheric element to it. Now things are quieting down a little bit. Yeah, it almost sounds like you're just standing on the edge of a canyon or something and just yelling out into this big void. There's just like this expansiveness, this total release of energy. I love how sort of melodic this track is too. This track is so just smooth. It flows really well. Even though there's these different parts to the track, it just works really cohesively as one song. I wonder if this is gonna just kind of flow into the next track. I might just let it play and see what happens. It did, okay, it went right into the next one. So I'm gonna pause this for just a second. I feel like this album, I might just wanna keep my comments between the tracks to a minimum, because it seems like this album, there's gonna be a great flow from one track into the next. But just some quick thoughts on Dream House, just a very expansive song. It has this great, just big sound to it, but it's also kind of melodic too in a way but i think i'm just going to move on to track two we'll keep this album going we have irresistible this one's starting off a little bit more you could say acoustic sounding very calm serene So far a pretty simplistic track. It's kind of just the same notes over and over again. I wonder if they're gonna change it up toward the end or if it's more of just like a little interlude of sorts. This piano is really beautiful. This is just such a really simplistic track, but it's really nice. I 
And now it's just quiet. There's still about 20 seconds left of this track though. I'll just let it play into the next track. We'll see what happens. All right, and then we have a great start with the next one. Again, just a quick little pause here. So track two, Irresistible, that was almost like a little melodic interlude between the first track and this third one that's starting. Beautiful little song. I loved the piano. Just toward the end there, it was really just those two notes playing back and forth. And then we had that 20 seconds of complete silence. And then we have track three, Sunbather, just kind of starting out with that great, big, expansive sound again. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing this one. I love how these vocals are just fused so nicely with the music. They just really complement each other. This really, really reminds me of Loathe. I feel like Loathe definitely took some inspiration from this album when they made their second album, I Let It In and It Took Everything. Yeah, there's somehow such a clean sound to this album so far. This track just keeps, it just keeps going. The more this track goes on, the more it grows on me. It's taking everything and it's fusing it together so well. The flow that this song has is insane. And then again, toward the end here, they're just bringing in a little bit more of that melodic element that they kind of have run through this album so far. This track just doesn't stop, and I really don't want it to, to be honest. That was track three, Sunbather, the title track of this album. I don't exactly know how to, uh, how to sum that one up in a couple of words. Again, with that amazing expansive quality to the sound of that track, it's like this big epic sound, but it's not really in your face. I just find a lot of metal music, and this is not a bad thing at all, but a lot of metal music kind of has that grungier, dirtier quality to the sound. And this album is so clean and streamlined, but they still infuse all of those awesome metal elements to give it the energy and everything. All right, and then just continuing on with track four, we have Please Remember. I'm trying to hear what the words are, but there's just some talking at the beginning with some music overlaying it. Is it just the word love repeating over? All right, and then we have all of this distortion instrumental sound coming in. That was a little unexpected sound effect. Now it's just this continuous noise. <laughs> what? That was such an interesting transition. It was almost like an engine that got turned off and then we just got pushed into this acoustic chunk of the track. Somehow that transition worked really well though. Why is the end of this track almost like making me emotional a little bit? It's just so beautiful in kind of a melancholy way though. That 
was track four, please remember, I don't really know what that song was. Uh, the first chunk was someone talking, and then you had the instrumentals going on, kind of with the talking. And then the second chunk was kind of like this distorted, almost engine-like sound. And then that, it's all, like the engine got turned off. And then the last chunk of that track was just this beautiful instrumental section that like I said, I teared up. It kind of made me emotional. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, just an amazing track. Somehow it fused all of those elements so, again, cohesively. This album is so cohesive. It flows so, so well. And I'm just going to move on to track five, Vertigo. Who? I'm still thinking about that last track. That really affected me for some reason. This album is just beautiful. It really is. The percussion on this one is really sticking out to me. It's really, really well done. A little bit more distortion, it sounds like, in this part of the song. Okay, this one's got some electric guitar going on. A little bit unexpected, but I like it. All right, we finally have got some vocals here. Again, I love how, at least on this album, Death Heaven seems to treat the vocals as like just another instrument. It's not the star of the show. Can you imagine being the drummer for this whole 14 minute track? You have to just have some really, really, really good arm muscles. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, again, like the track Sunbather, this one just doesn't stop. It keeps just going and going and adding more stuff and it's just epically well done. <laughs> Ooh, these vocals are interesting. Again, they take you from this kind of more manic energy and they pull you into this melodic melancholy sound and you don't even realize it. They, the transition is so smooth. How do these songs just keep getting better. And then I guess that one just fades out and ends. That was track five, Vertigo. I think that one was probably the most metal sounding of all the tracks on this album so far. I think it went the hardest in terms of just producing that, you know, more typical metal sound, but still so clean and executed really well. The flow on that track was great. And then moving on to track six, we have Windows. All right, this one's starting off really, really subtle. We've got that talking again. It's kind of a dark, ominous sound to this one. A lot of ambient stuff. Burns with fire and brimstone. They're definitely tying in some religious themes with this one. Yeah, there's a really ominous tone to the instrumentals on this one. There's something kind of unsettling, like creepy about it. And then with all this ambient noise too, I don't know.
Such an interesting track. And then I think it's just going to fade out. Yeah, that one was just all talking. And then you had these really dark, ominous instrumentals playing over it. And then we just have like 10, 15 seconds of silence at the end. I'm just going to let it play right into the last track, um, track seven, the pecan tree. All right, it looks like we're going out with a bang. After that last track, I'm really curious to know what the lyrics are to these songs because it's it's obviously really hard to tell. Windows is the only track where you can hear the talking really clearly. It kind of went into some really deep stuff with like the religious themes going on and it just makes me wonder what lyrically is on the rest of this album. Again with this percussion, it's pretty insane. Now we're back with another kind of more quiet, restrained part on this track. They definitely seem to do that throughout their music, on this album anyway. These melodic bits are actually some of my favorites on this album. They're just really captivating to listen to. I love how there's so many different genres fused on this album. I love when bands kind of just don't really care about genre and they more just embrace whatever sound they want to on an album and they fuse a bunch of different stuff together. It makes for a more interesting album, in my opinion. And then they're coming back in with that talking kind of distorted vocal sound. They make these tracks just build up so well. They always do this at the end. I'm somehow more impressed than when the track started. Well, that was track seven, The Pecan Tree, the final track on Sunbather, the second album from the band Death Heaven. It started out strong and somehow just got better the longer the track went on. This whole album is filled with tracks with fairly long running times, like nine, ten minutes, and none of these tracks got stale or were too long-winded. They just thoroughly sucked me in and engrossed me from beginning to end. So that right there is a testament to how good this album is. But The Pecan Tree, great ending to this just phenomenal album. Well, that is going to do it for my reaction to Sunbather, the second studio album from the band Deaf Heaven. This album, frankly, blew me away. I was expecting it to be good based on what little I had heard of it and like I said Metacritic gave it like a 92 or something out of 100 but it definitely did not disappoint. It totally lived up to that. This little reaction video definitely does not do it justice. I would highly recommend going listening to this album. It's truly an experience. Just sit there, listen to it from beginning to end. I thought it was transfixing and it will probably blow your mind as it did mine. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what you think of this album. Also, if you want to see more Deaf Heaven reactions, definitely let me know because this album was amazing and if their other albums are on par with this one, I will definitely want to be listening to those. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap up here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.